Hello everyone. We are here today with Jasmeet Singh, the Executive Vice President and Global Head of Manufacturing at Infosys. With a large number of manufacturers now shifting their focus to a service-centric business model, the buzzword today is servitization. Hello Jasmeet, welcome to the show. Can you tell us a little more about what this really means? Sure. Sure, Shruti. So first of all, servitization is not new. It's actually decades old. Uh, probably the term was coined uh, in the late 1980s. Uh, so like I said, it's not new. Uh, there are things that have changed and that is why it is back in uh, vogue, so as to speak. But servitization very simply is nothing but, you know, adding more services to the products that you sell. And that it requires a fundamental change in the business model as well. So each and every manufacturer, each and every company is looking at deriving more services from the stuff that they sell and engaging with their clients. Can you get, give me some examples of certain manufacturers that have actually uh, ventured into this area? Uh, Rolls-Royce as an example is an often cited case. Uh, they sell engine capacity by the hour. Uh, you know, tire manufacturers are selling road miles traveled, uh, right? Uh, Philips is selling in terms of lighting as a service. Uh, so the fundamental thing that is here is that you forget about actually buying the equipment. It is more provided as a service and the manufacturer really takes care of the end-to-end -end, uh, life of that product uh, because they are now responsible for the maintenance of it. Uh, for the upkeep of it, uh, so for ensuring that it is running well, etc. So it sounds like a win-win situation for the customers as well as for the manufacturers, sure. right? From a manufacturer's standpoint, uh, right, the first and foremost is it brings them closer to the client or the end customer. See, traditionally in the business model, you would sell a product and you wouldn't even know how it is being used. Now you are actually much closer aligned to the end customer. Okay, uh, it is a much more profitable, uh, you know, there's a lot of commoditization that is happening from a product standpoint. And while innovation in the product space can actually get you a higher price point, but the fact of the matter is that if you provide services alongside, you actually uh, turn into a much more profitable business. It is a new revenue stream for them as well, right? So. Um, given what is happening and given that you understand the end customer now, you have the opportunity to come up with newer and newer services that you can actually cross sell. And if you look at it from the end customer standpoint, the end customer is not necessarily looking at uh, a product to be bought. They are looking for an outcome to be delivered. And so it gets them closer to getting that outcome delivered from the manufacturers. So uh, how do you see Infosys really making this happen, not just for the manufacturers, but also for the customers. So how do you see Infosys coming sure. into play here? Manufacturers have traditionally been used to, you know, selling uh, the product itself and maybe some maintenance upkeep services. But the fundamental change in the business model of selling this as a service for ensuring that the upkeep is there, for uh, adhering to the SLAs, you know, in many ways it's akin to our managed services model. So that is number one. Number two, we have the full suite of capabilities to help clients actually navigate this, right? Uh, navigate this new business model. And this is where our entire digital pentagon also fits in very, very well. It's fast right from the experience side of it, the insights, understanding, you know, the entire connected enterprise, the connected product uh, uh, side of it. There's a lot of innovation that is required. There are fundamental changes that are required in terms of the ERP, the backend systems, to be able to deliver this as an offering, as a service model, right? So all of these things, and lastly, even the cybersecurity, the assurance part of it, all of these things come together and, you know, given our digital strategy, given the way we have defined it and given our capabilities across all of these, we are in a unique position to actually help clients navigate their future into the servitization. Thank you, Jasmeet, for sharing your valuable insights with us. We will continue to engage with you further as we explore more on this topic and we see innovations coming into play.